What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to, again, something a little bit different, right? I usually do eFootball content. If you've stumbled in and you're thinking, what is this guy talking about? I haven't played FIFA in a couple of years, but obviously we are going to take a look at what is going on with the EAFC. I've already done my teaser trailer breakdown and my thoughts on that. This is more of an extended kind of look. And again, it's kind of given me... I don't know what's going on, man, realistically. I mean, I want to see gameplay. I want to see if this game is going to pull me away from eFootball. Even with all its flaws, when eFootball flows, it's decent. But we're going to take a look at a couple of different clips throughout this. Hopefully the sound and everything is fine, um, but we'll go with that. But the one thing that they kind of talk about here that is uh, kind of interesting is like this thing called triangles, right? So you can kind of see where the gameplay is probably going to head is in that little, you know, triangles, quick touch, ping pong passing. That's kind of infiltrated in the last couple of years. Yes, there is still tactical stuff, long ball and all that counter and all that. But the game will probably be the same as every football game has been for the last couple of years. Intercept, quick counter, finish. And that's basically what every football game has been. It's just about getting the ball around and having a bit of possession as an alternative. And if that works, great. And if it doesn't, you're left with just an arcade fest, in my opinion. So this was the live stream that they did. I didn't watch most of this. I watched a bit of it. Um, and they spent, I'd say, about the first 20 minutes literally just talking about different features, different things. They had all, like, different things. I, I want to know where Ireland is there, lads. I don't see Ireland anywhere there. I mean, it, we just meant to be one triangle with England and the UK. So they just talk about all the partners. You can see there all the partnerships that they have, the licenses. Look, that's pretty impressive. Obviously, we are eFootball people that play eFootball um, are used to not having the licenses. You know, they've got like pretty much everything that you see there is going to be coming. Um, you know, Premier League obviously is the big one. La Liga, uh, EFL, Europa League, Champions League. They've, they've really kind of gone into that license there. 300 plus partners, 100 plus stadiums, 30 plus leagues. Well, that's pretty decent. I will admit that. That is nice. And the match day experience and the way the clothes fit. That's something that I, as a guy that likes to edit and stuff, that is something that I do appreciate. Definitely. I mean, that's not, again, that's not too bad. That would be something that we'll need to see. I'm definitely open to all of this stuff. I mean, if this is what the reaction is going to be on, uh, rather than gameplay, which we'll get into. This stuff looks pretty decent. To be one more to highlight. Okay, come on. Give it to me. Oh, yeah. Play styles. I saw about this. Okay, so basically, it is the exact same as play styles for eFootball, essentially. Which, look, isn't a bad thing. I mean, if they can get that right, that there is a reason for using players, rather than, you know, every player feeling the same. That was always an issue I had. Hmm. Best gameplay they've ever had. Okay. I mean, I think what they're trying to probably go for is to have like an ecosystem of EA FC. That's basically what it is, man. And without being tied, do you get the box there as well? Early access September 22nd, worldwide launch September 29th. And then we get a bit of a trailer here, right? So I'm just going to mute this here a sec because it could be copyright music. But yeah, we do get this trailer. So this is probably the first look at the trailer that we're seeing here with a bit of gameplay. But we're not going to see much gameplay here. You've got Halland going to kick off the ball i mean again it's very hard to tell from this because this is all kind of rendered stuff man which i just i genuinely don't understand why um they would show this sort of stuff like they talked about the animations that they'll be able to add separate animations in so if you know if a player does a unique animation that they'll be able to code that and add the animation in that sounds cool like some of this stuff like Helen looks absolutely insane there remember that goal see donna making that save that's nice as well I mean, I like the physicality. I mean, they used to have that in the old FIFA I played, but then they kind of took it out. Donna with a B save. Good crunch tackle. Left foot swerve hit. That looked like a really, like, kind of weird shot, but we'll see. Um, oh, they brought out Haaland in the Irish pajamas. Go There's on, the Halland, box boy. art for Haaland there on the PS5, first front and center. But let me know your thoughts, lads. I mean, I'm open to learning more about this game. Obviously, there's more details that they'll probably release. But that's just a quick video from me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Something different. And um, let me know what you guys think. Because look, a lot of people are asking me to cover this, especially subscribers. So if it's not for you and you don't like this type of content, that's cool. If it is, give it a thumbs up and make sure and subscribe. And uh, we'll keep an eye on things. So until next time, lads, keep an eye on the channel and subscribe for more. And we'll be back with some more videos soon. Peace.